Dolly 3 is great for generating images, but what if you wanted to put your own face into the images? That's what I'm going to show you in this video. So normally when I ask ChatGPT to generate a picture of myself, I'll just say like it's a man with a graying beard and thick frame of glasses. And the closest that I can get is pretty much like something like this or like this. Maybe I'll tell it to make me slightly overweight and it'll get something like this. That's pretty close. But what if I want it to be exactly my face instead of like these other random guys? So that's what we're going to do in this video. I'm going to show you how you can generate an image with ChatGPT and Dolly 3. And then we can swap the faces out so that my face will be in the picture instead of whoever this guy is. Honestly, this is pretty close though. I don't know. It's pretty good. Okay, so let's make sure that we got GPT-4. We want Dolly 3. And we're going to say, Thanks for watching this far. It really means a lot. If you're finding value in my content, consider joining our community of AI and writing enthusiasts by subscribing. It's a simple click for you, but it makes a big difference and helps keep you updated with our latest insights and tutorials, which I share multiple times a week. Don't forget to give a thumbs up too if you're enjoying the video. Uh, a photo of a Caucasian man with green, short hair and beard, thick and black glasses. Something's gone wrong. Let's try again. Okay, major outage across ChatGPT and API. It looks like I'm going to have to wait and we'll come back to this. And that's working. Okay, it looks like ChatGPT is back up, so let's try this again. So we okay, so we got our images. This one looks a little bit weird. There's like a weird light there. So I think I'm going to use this one. Although his face is like really thin. I don't know if my face is going to... In that. Okay, we'll take this. Actually, I don't even need to save it. Okay, so that's step one done. We've made whatever character you want to put your face on. And we're going to have to open up Discord. If you don't already have Discord, sign up for an account. It's free because we're going to have to use a, a Discord bot here. So what you want to do is sign up for Discord. And you've got a Discord channel here. It's free to make. You can like make or delete as many channels as you want. Uh, and then we need to get our bot. So we'll go over to this page, which I'll link in the description. It's a GitHub. And you'll see here Discord bot invitation link. You want to click this. It's going to say Insight Face wants to access your Discord. Add to server. You can pick whatever server you want on. I've already got it on here. Go continue. Just say yes to all these if they're unchecked, they should be, and then hit authorize. I'm not going to do it because it's already on my server. We'll just go straight back to the uh, Discord server and I'll show you that. So then what you want to do... Whoop, okay, let's leave that minimized like that then. Okay, so you've got your Discord server. Uh, you've invited your bot, so it should be up here. So then we've got... Uh, here I uploaded a picture of myself, so you want to go set ID, give it a name like Dustin. Actually, what is it? What are the commands? Save ID. Yeah, we want to do save ID first. So do save ID, Dustin, and then you upload a picture of yourself. So I uploaded this picture here. How do I like back out of this? Okay. So there's a picture of myself that I uploaded to use for this, and it's going to pull my face off the image. Uh, so then I fed it in one of those images from earlier, and it put my face in there. It doesn't look horrible, but it's not the best. I tried this. This one turned out pretty good. I'm going to use this for the thumbnail of the video. That's, I don't know, with, without glasses, that's pretty close to what I look like. Uh, and then this one. Yeah, that looks like my eyes, but still like the rest of it. It doesn't change anything except the face, and if the beard is already there, it's going to keep the beard exactly the same. I did this one. It's got like kind of a weird Jack Black look to it, though. I don't know how I feel about that. With the longer hair, it looks weird. I feel like, yeah, from like here to here, it's very accurate. But then, I don't know. Actually, even like up to, if I had longer hair in that style, I guess that's what it would look like. I tried experimenting with celebrities, so I had like a picture of Bradley Cooper with uh, Jennifer Lawrence. I put It, it kind of looks like my eyes, but... It kept like his face except for the mouth, which is kind of weird. This is uh, what's his name, Seth Rogen. Emma wants that just looks like a Photoshop. It straight up looks like my face is just pasted in there, which is weird. Uh, that one didn't turn out. It was like small. That looks like half like me and half like Seth Rogen, which is kind of weird. 
But let's do the superhero one that I just did. Uh, so now we did save a, save ID. Now we want to do slash swap ID. We want to do image name Dustin or whatever you saved your image as. And we're going to drag our superhero guy over here. And then we're going to hit enter. And it's that easy. We should get our superhero dude in like a couple seconds. Okay, so it like kind of looks like my face, but his face is still kind of too skinny. The eyes, it gets the eyes really well, I feel like. I get the bags under my eyes there. So let's see, this is that one, and then the original was this one. So yeah, it kind of changed my face a little bit. Not super drastic, obviously, like the hair and the body is totally the same. So if you can get somebody that resembles your like face shape and body shape in chat GPT and Dolly, then you want to do that first. But that's basically it. So step one, make a person in Dolly 3 that you want to use. Step two, install the Discord bot from the link that I provided. Step three, go into Discord, do slash save ID, give it a name, upload a reference photo of your face, then go slash swap ID, use that same name that you gave your reference photo, and then upload a picture from Dolly, or just click and drag it in. And you should end up with something like this. It's not perfect, but it's a cool little thing to play around with, so give that a shot. If you make anything cool, let me know. Be sure to subscribe, like, and all that stuff, and I'll see you in the next video.